One thing the next administration will have to oversee is whether or not California dairy producers will join the federal milk marketing order. National reporter Betsy Jibben looks into the issue and why some producers think it has potential to be a price benefit. California leads the nation in milk production, but its producers wonder how long it will last. I think we're, we're going to turn the corner soon here in California to where we're going to be short of milk. That's due to a number of issues from overtime pay laws to water to consolidation and even dairy investments in other states. Well, many other parts of the country are growing in milk supply and I think that's uh, uh, directly related to the lower milk prices that we're, we're seeing. It's just people aren't motivated to make milk here with milk here if you're uh, if you're not getting paid. Uh, you know, the cost of production are better. Those payments push some dairy producers to make a change. USDA held hearings in the state last year to see if California producers want to join the federal milk marketing order. Many states are part of the order, which is designed to make sure producers get a reasonable minimum price for milk from its processors. California is one state which has its own order. It'll be really dependent on, on what that proposed rule looks like and if that moves forward. Um, and it could have ramifications for the rest of the country, too. Now USDA is sorting through the testimony and plans to issue a proposed rule in 2017. After a comment period, a majority vote among California producers is needed to implement USDA's revised proposal. A move to the federal order is supported by trade organizations and three major co-ops representing 80% of the milk. Well, there's probably a segment of producers that will vote for it no matter what it says and there's a segment of producers that will vote against it no matter what it says. Most of us are waiting to see what's in it. If they're just going to give us the upper Midwest order and plug it into California, it's probably not going to work. Some industry leaders say both orders set minimum prices. But California's minimum price has been lower than the federal milk marketing order across the board in all classes. The California price for the last uh, quite a few years have been has been under the federal order, um, anywhere from you know, 25 cents to $2 under the federal order. And uh, I'm not too much to complain about milk prices, but there gets to be a point when you think, well, why is milk so much cheaper here than in other parts of the country? You know, why, why is that? A big change. The state with the largest milk production will have to decide. There are some differences between California's state order and the federal milk marketing order. One is with voluntary and mandatory milk pooling. Also, many California producers have made investments in their quota system. Some producers say they may vote against joining the order if the quota system is changed or eliminated in the proposal. All right, thanks, Betsy. Lando Lakes, California Dairies Incorporated, and Dairy Farmers of America are the co-op supportive of joining the order and petition to join.